Good morning, welcome back. It is Thursday, and today we're going to open not one, but two, and our last two, blaster boxes of 2017 Panini Absolute. I'm going to put this one off of our little chart there. And, of course, we picked these up recently at Steel City on their website. They had some really, really good buys. I've still got a few boxes of 2017 Select that we'll be opening up in the future, as well as uh, that Facebook Nuts Group purchase that I, uh, I've went through all the random packs, but I still have the 2020 uh, Wax Box, or the Hobby Box, I'm sorry, the Hobby Box to go through. Of course, with these, there's one pack per box, that's why we're doing two boxes, because there's only five cards per pack. One auto or mem per box on average, be nice to pull a Prime Fire Suit patch, or a Team Tandems. You see the horizontal orientation, and we have the yellow and black. So we'll zoom and scroll, and let's see which way everything is facing. Ooh, it's a thin pack today, so I don't know which way to go on this. So let's... It'll probably be one of those Absolute Inks. I bought a bunch of those on one of the Facebook groups a few years ago. The Absolute Inks. And got some really, really good stuff. So, and it looks like it's... Is that it? Or is that one it? That one's probably it right there. Oh, well, we've already seen it. So, let's go ahead and spoil the fun. But, wow. Harry Gant on card autograph. I will take that. You know I'll take that absolutely. So we'll put that in the hit pile. Now we know where the hit's at in all the boxes. I should have known it to begin with, but... Dale Jr., Precision. So we've got an insert. A Dale Jr. base. Corey LaJoy. It says Cup Rookie. <coughs> I think he might have a rookie card sooner than this. I'm not sure. Have to look into that. And an Elliott Saddler, numbered 236 out of 299. So I'm going to go ahead and sleeve up that Gantt right now. I've purchased a few Gantt autographs online. I don't ever recall pulling one, so it's kind of exciting for me, as you guys know. It's my all-time favorite driver. And I don't think I have this particular one, so we're going to put that off to the side, because... <clears throat> Unless box two yields us something absolutely amazing, I think we already know what card of the day is. So we're not going to go through <clears throat> and show you everything in this. But we are going to see that we do have a thick card in there, so that's going to make it easier to locate where it's at. Thought we were starting off with another Dale Jr. again. That would have been funny. <clears throat> Excuse me. So let's pull this one to the front. We have a Denny Hamlin action pack. I feel like I've pulled that one before. Okay, and I can feel the relic back there. Is there more than... Hmm. Can't tell what it is, but we'll find out here in just a minute. Trevor Bain base. Derek Cope, base, when he won the 1990 Daytona 500. And then we have a Landon Castle numbered card. 115 out of 299. Lost my numbered card stack. And let's see who we got here. Does it go this way? see who we got. We have got, oh wow, Regan Smith, auto, relic, 20 out of 35. So that's really impressive, because I was feeling this, and I thought, boy, that feels like a big piece. You can definitely see a nice, <clears throat> a nice uh, piece of sheet metal there, three colors, with a little bubble in the sticker, from where obviously it didn't meet up with the sheet metal real good. Not sure, was he driving? Yeah, he was driving for, uh, I can't see who that says there. RBR. 
let's truck series on that uniform. So I'm drawing a blank on that, but in 2017, okay, BTS tire, I'm, I'm drawing a blank on that. And now I'm kind of torn for a decision. Because from a personal standpoint, obviously all-time favorite driver pulling that. I mean, we're going to go 1A one, one and 1A one and one again. Wow, that's super impressive. I'm happy with both of these pulls. I'm not going to complain. Uh, and i got to figure out Robbie Benton Racing. I think that's who that is, Robbie Benton Racing. Regan Smith also has pretty nice signature as well. It's not just a couple of squiggly lines. You can at least make out the Smith. The Regan's basically just an R, but still, I'm very happy with both of these pulls. Yeah, a few other nice little base cards to go with it. A couple numbered cards and a couple nice inserts. So anyway, thanks again for watching. Make sure you come back at noon for Fast Packs, where we will be ripping into another pack of 1991 tracks. So as always, thanks for watching, and we will see you tomorrow.